is Michael Grossman. I'm the uh, head brewer here at Gordon Biersch. I make the beer. I get that all the time. It's like uh, career MD. Uh, it happens, you know, you got the best job, and I do. I mean, there's nothing better to do than something you enjoy doing and making a living. Mostly my career, I've been making lagers, which is the mainstay of the beers that we make here. Gordon Biersch, we make German style beers, which are mostly lagers rather than ales. And it's a little bit of a different school of brewing, it's a little more complex. Schwartz beer is most like a porter or stout on our list, and that's like those are my favorite styles of beers. Uh, I like the roasty, chocolatey flavors of those styles of beers and the coffee like flavors. I've been known to make a really good IPA, I've been told, even though it's one of my least favorite styles of beer, um, I have won awards for making pale ales and IPAs, so apparently I do it okay. <laughs> One of my brothers was living in Germany, and uh, he really, that's where I actually was introduced to beer in general. I wasn't much of a beer drinker to begin with, but uh, after having all the flavorful beers, being in Germany and Switzerland in two weeks, when I got back to the United States, it was either expensive or hard to find, so I decided to start brewing them myself. I wasn't that bad as a home brewer, but I didn't do what is called all grain brewing. I brewed from extract because I just didn't have the room or the money to buy the equipment. I didn't do that for very long. I ended up uh, getting a job at a brewery in the hometown, the town I grew up in. I got the privilege to train under a diploma brew master who was graduated. He actually went to school for brewing science and graduated from Weinstein. Basically, it's still one of those trades, there's two routes to take. Or you can be a trade brewer, which is what I am, or you can go to school. It's a mix. It's science, it's art, and there's like, it's kind of like cooking. One of the other brewers that's a regional in this company saw my resume on a website that's geared for professional brewers. So he called me up and he's like, would you like to come work for Gordon Beers? And I'm like, absolutely. This company started in California and was founded, one of the founders was Dan Gordon. So all these beer recipes are actually his. We just adapt them to fit our size systems. Uh, different restaurants have different size brew systems. So you have to, there's a little bit play with to make it the right, to make the, repeat that recipe in a different place. And being that we're corporate and it's corporate consistency, you know, whatever Gordon beer you go to in the country, you're going to hopefully have the exact same beer and the exact same experience. We have to send off samples to a lab where they're analyzed to check that they're falling in with certain spec of our recipes and that's part of the way we maintain consistency throughout the chain. It's really cool to see what other brewers are doing. It's just amazing what this beverage can do. And, and just the fact that every culture just about has a form of beer in it. Even in this economy, um, the beer industry, the craft beer industry has been growing. Though craft beers tend to be more expensive than your commercially, the big brewers like Coors and Miller and Bud, um, they're an affordable luxury. People are just getting ridiculously creative, re, uh, rejuvenating ancient recipes, creating new things based with that and modern technology. I have a friend up in uh, Michigan who's made beer with peanut butter, and made beer with tomatoes, uh, even resurrected an old uh, like uh, colonial recipe for uh, and did a spruce pilsner where you're using you know blue spruce in the beer. You even see that some of the bigger breweries have come out with lines of craft-like or craft beers. The craft beer industry only consists of about 1% of beer sales in this country. And those big guys don't like losing their 1%. So they'll jump on it. Brewers tend to move around. It just seems like, you know, in general, they get bored and they move on. In my case, it's been, well, I've worked for a lot of breweries that have closed, so not by my means. I have a nice steady job and work for a great company. I can't really complain that, you know, I may just stick around here for a while.